on TV recently. We're rediscovering this extremely cool place we call home and our connection to the amazing people we share it with. And it is all part of a new marketing effort to support tourism and business as things begin to get back to normal. Daybreak's Lauren Hall is in the newsroom right now with a look at how this is helping out local businesses. Hey, Lauren. Good morning. Hey, hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. Well, you may recognize some places that you go all the time in these commercials, like your barber shop, the farmer's market, or Shays. And now that things are opening back up, these ads are designed to attract visitors back to the western New York region. We checked with Visit Buffalo Niagara, and it turns out the tourism numbers to close out the busy summer travel season were actually pretty strong. Strong. In a normal year, the city of Buffalo would welcome around 9 million visitors who would leave behind almost $2 billion in economic impact. This July, occupancy at local hotels was at 72%, and that's not far behind July 2019 when the occupancy rate was 80%. Visit Buffalo Niagara President and CEO Patrick Kaler says the majority of these visitors are coming from elsewhere in New York State. So we're seeing a lot of local uh, travel from New York State, Central New York, as well as New York City, um, as well as some of our other uh, surrounding areas that typically would travel. Uh, what would be interesting is if the Canadian border were open, we probably would have been back to those 2019 levels. So this campaign is funded by the American Rescue Funds that Erie County received. They launched it in conjunction with Small Business Month in September, and it will be airing all the way through the end of the year, both here in our market and throughout the state. For Channel 2 News Daybreak, I'm Lauren Hall. Peter Melissa, back over to you.